Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I'm excited to be with you guys again today with a really quick tip video. This one's gonna be really quick. So before I get started, I'm going to share some tidbits with you guys. If you are watching on Facebook and you want to go back and look through all the rest of our tutorials and weekly sewing tip videos, you can do so by going to our YouTube page, which is youtube.com slash sewwhatbox. If you head there, you can see all of our quick tip videos all in one place, browse through there, or even search for a certain topic. And if you have a question that we haven't covered, go ahead and comment below, and I'd love to make a video for that or just help answer your question. Okay, if you are on YouTube and you want to kind of connect with us a little bit more, maybe meet some other sewists or share some projects that you're working on, you can join our Facebook group by going to sewwhatbox.com slash group. Now I know that's not a Facebook um, link, but that's just an easy thing that you can type in to the browser that's easy to remember, easy to type in, and then it redirects you to our Facebook group where you can click join. I'd love to see you there. Okay, if you haven't met me yet, my name is Taylor and I work here at So What Box, um, helping teach fun sewing tips and tutorials to um, you and our other sewing club members. If you're curious about what our sewing club is, you can learn more at sewwhatbox.com. And if you head there right now, you can get your first shipment for free. Okay, let's get into our really quick tip for this week. I'm sure that you have seen these type of thread spools or even just a normal shape thread spool that's very large. Now, um, these are usually used for sergers. You can use them in your sewing machine for normal stitching, but some of the other large spools are just regular universal thread, and a normal sewing machine doesn't really have a place for a spool this big, but you can use this on a normal sewing machine. So if you inherited a bunch of this from your grandma or you just got them on a really good sale at a yard sale, there is a way to use this on your normal machine. And that's by using something called a cone thread holder or also known as a spool stand. And it looks like this. Really simple, um, but basically you put your cone thread or large spool of thread on the little holder on the base, then you just pull your thread straight up and hook it through this top thing. That's gonna hold it and get it ready to go onto your sewing machine by where your normal thread would go. Now I'm going to switch cameras really quick and kind of show you what I'm talking about. And I even have a tip for you on how to use these if you don't want to go get a spool stand. Okay, so here we're looking at my sewing machine. And um, if you kind of look closely, you can see right here is where the normal spool would go, but I don't have a spool. So um, if we look around at the back here, I'll show you, I have one of these big spools that I am using without a cone holder. Now, I'm trying to kind of show you guys with this camera, not on a stand so that I can move it around. Um, so I'm sorry if it's kind of a little jiggly, but here is the tip if you don't want to get a cone holder. You want to put this spool right against the back here, straight under where your normal spool would go. That's because that will pull it straight up off of the top of this spool and it won't knock the spool over by pulling it sideways. 
So you want it right under there. You can see how this thread goes. And then what I do is I just use this spool holder, see, as a little notch to run this thread around. So that's what holds that to make it go in the right line to come over here and thread like normal. This is my really cheap hack if you don't want to get a spool stand. But now I'm gonna come back over here and kind of show you guys how you can do the same thing with a, uh, a spool stand. So here's my stand. Guess you can see it if I do this. And you can kind of see that it's just gonna kind of go exactly where um, my easy cheat went. I'm just gonna pick up this spool here and put it over this um, holder. And then this that went around this um, original spool holder is just gonna come up and get put right in here. Now the trick with this, let me see if I can readjust this. The cool thing about these spool stands is you don't have to put this right behind the machine. You can put this anywhere you want because this thing makes the thread get pulled straight off the top instead of pulling sideways so this won't knock over. Now, the tip is if you, you always want this hooked edge to point in the direction that the thread's going. If you turn it and point it this way, the minute that that sewing machine starts pulling on this thread, it's gonna pull it, it's gonna pull it out of this hole right here and it's just gonna fall off. So if you're using one of these cone holders, always point that little curved edge towards the direction that the sewing machine is going to pull the thread. So I hope that this was a really awesome quick tip for you guys. And um, I hope that if you had one of these lying around and didn't know what it was for or couldn't figure out how to use it properly, that maybe this might have helped you. Sorry again for the um, really wiggly um, video, <laughs> but I was trying to kind of give you guys a really good visual and I think that I was able to get up close and personal with that thread in a good spot so that you guys could see really what was going on. Anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions.